So they are actually touching each other and they with the fluid between them. That's why there is kind of uh, uh, reduce the friction. Whenever you move long in and out, they like glide in each other. But there is a fluid here, very thin, small amount of fluid. Like a, so what, what it's the same as like a water between the two films. Then you can move, right? You cannot detach but it move because of why you cannot just detach? It's the surface tension. Surface tension, right? Water, the fluid. And then whenever you move in and out, with in and out, it they glide each other with this friction. So nicely we can expand. And if, uh, as he said, if the here is a positive pressure, and in this side a negative, inside here negative pressure, then this side pressure is stronger, it will push into the lungs, which is not uh, normal. Is that the why it would collapse because of pressure? Normally, this inside here is a negative pressure in the pleural space. And here has a positive pressure. Okay? Not the opposite. This side has a negative pressure. Because of negative pressure, we still uh, maintain the, our the thorax shape. If there's a positive pressure, just we, our uh, chest has a natural tendency, lung has a natural tendency to collapsing like this. But it's not happen because we have a negative pressure in the pleural space. Right. Yeah. Negative pressure. Then here. So when we breathe in out, breathe in, expand, and then exhale. That's the pressure going up because you expanding, 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 expanding. Pressure here going higher and higher and higher and higher. That's how we breathe. And then you exhale naturally. Then pushing into the lungs until there's a equilibrium in the pressure. We'll learn uh, more about that next semester, I mean the, this semester. So inside the narrative pressure, actually. So you know, what happened you here? It's a hole now. There's a hole. Air, we're, now air, if let's say there's a hole here, or away, air here will get into this space. <coughs> then, now this negative pressure, it was negative, now pressure is building up. The air is keep going in, 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 in. And this will move this way. So this, your lungs will be smaller, 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 keep expanding, expanding. And you get hot time breathing. Now can they expand? That's how it happened in the pneumothorax. Air in the pleural space. So which membranes are affected this time? Which membranes? Yeah. Which the this oh pleural 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 which is a this is part of pleural oh sorry the visceral 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 yeah this is a pleural pleural which means outside yeah outside the chest wall outside outside the chest wall outside the chest wall outside the chest wall outside the chest the chest wall outside the chest the chest wall outside 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 the chest Pariah pariah is still okay here. Then uh, air building up here, uh, pressure going higher, higher, higher until the has equilibrium. So keep pushing into the lungs. And the lungs smaller, 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 smaller shrink. Yeah. So if you compare the left and right, let's say, lungs probably become shrink this much while this side lungs, left side maybe contain this much from the membrane. So this uh, space might be probably wide here, right? Probably here wide like this, because there's a hole. Pressure builds up in the Right, pressure building up here and pushing, 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 pushing. Okay. All right.